17h50. So it's um, 5:58 and uh, first day of Alpha Pack uh, Paris. So uh, welcome, and we're going to have our debrief now. We're going to discuss uh, processing and handling with you, Jean-Marc uh, Doré, President, Chairman of uh, GPIA, the uh, of, uh, um, food and non-food industry process uh, uh, and um, developers, and also Fabrice Pelletier, a designer and uh, president of the National Design Packaging Institute, INDP. And you've been uh, walking through the aisles of the uh, show uh, looking for innovation, but uh, you've got carpets everywhere. Um, yeah, but it's still a lot of walking. Jean-Marc uh, Doré, your organization, GPIA represents 100 companies, uh, total sales of 1.6 million uh, one, uh, each year, and uh, purchase of uh, uh, sorry, uh, 1.6 billion uh, euros uh, top line, and um, uh, purchasing of 800 million euros, 400,000. Uh, 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 I'm sorry, 400,000 employees. And what are you talking about? The virtual packaging line. Well, we're going to uh, see what a product undergoes in the processing line. We'll go from primary processing, and then we'll go all the way to the end of the line, and. Um, this is going to be preformed, uh, heated. We're going to see the uh, bottle made. It's going to be filled, and uh, you've got a, a cap and then a sleeve, and you're going to go to the end of the line. This is a uh, world first. We've had lots of uh, things like this before. So this represents the uh, work of all of the uh, members of uh, JPIA, uh, and this is uh, going to be uh, Very useful in the future. Okay, so in fact, this is a serious game. Uh, we're uh, totally uh, immersed in virtual reality to track a uh, food product or even a non-food product in a packaging line. What does this do for your members? Well, this shows that in France, around the um, uh, line, you have all of the manufacturers and equipment uh, providers who can solve problems upstream and downstream from the line. Second, this will allow um, our um, manufacturing members to uh, look at the future of the alliance with their um, customers. What do uh, what happens now when a um, company has a product to uh, package? Well, now we can show them how the um, factory of the future is going to work. And this allows us to prototype to increase the production capacity of our machines, and this increases our um, end users' production capacity. Well, in France, the supply change is often um, an area uh, where uh, small companies want a supply chain, and they haven't uh, wherewithal to fund um, uh, design studies. And uh, you have a, a virtual sighting. Um, a system which lets uh, small companies see what the um, uh, chains uh, or the um, lines will look like in the future. Well, we already have some companies who are um, doing this already. They go into the uh, building, take a 360 degree uh, picture, and then we uh, site the uh, virtual machine in that virtual space. And this means that everything can be done on the internet. Customers don't have to go anywhere. So we can show the fac uh, their factory with our machine installed and operating. This means that um, the uh, company will be able to train everyone in the company regarding what's going to happen and how to use the machine. This is more than just technology. You know, we've uh, brought in. Uh, Lots of uh, service providers who are now working in the United States. Uh, French technology in this area is really future oriented and it's uh, prized in the United States. So you say that you are in a position to provide future uh, services to um, uh, your members. And I am going to let you go now because you have to uh, go to the award ceremony. Yes, because we are uh, sponsoring, sponsoring part of this. But unfortunately, it's in 
in uh, downtown Paris, so I'm going to have to leave right away. But my uh, friend will be able to uh, handle uh, this. Uh, I think he also saw the virtual packaging line. So thank you, Mr. Uh, Doré, for uh, seeing us here. Now, we're going to continue with you, uh, Mr. Um, Peltier. Now, you tried immersing yourself in uh, virtual reality. Is it four minutes of joy or uh, four minutes of terror? Well, is it before and after? Were you totally transformed? Yes, indeed, I was. Now, I've seen uh, uh, real lines, and I've seen uh, lots of different uh, factories. What's interesting here is first you have another view. You're in the line, which means that you actually follow the product uh, packaging process. And it you're the uh, bottle and it's going to be capped or, uh, you know, above us. And then we go out through the, um, uh, when the bottle is opened. So that's uh, tremendous. We're always, told that packaging has a, a tremendous uh, lifetime because look at the life of a uh, package. It's shake, shaken, it's moved all over the place, it's um, um, filled, it's uh, opened. Sometimes you uh, cut it open with a knife and then it uh, goes into the trash. Now what's interesting here is that you have the entire process and um, you go into a, a truck. It takes four minutes and it's four minutes of joy. Okay, so you really have to try this virtual packaging line. And, uh, okay, we uh, let Jean-Marc Doré um, leave. But this could also be used for the uh, um, development uh, engineers to uh, compute the uh, dimensions. Yes, that's true. I think uh, we're only looking at the uh, beginning. And this shows a number of applications digital technology is delivering to us now. This means that we can go virtually into a uh, location in a factory and we can do this virtually. And uh, now you can do the same thing with packaging. You can uh, create a, a real life uh, um, package in three dimensions before you start tooling up. So digital technology helps us to uh, take decisions and also to save on development costs. Now we're going to move on to what you're doing for Alpha Pack in the show. Now you're in a way our 360 degree eye. You're seeing identity. You're seeing innovations in our show. I, I only have my two eyes. I can't see what's going on behind my uh, head. What about uh, the uh, 2016 um, uh, show? Is it a great year for um, innovation and for um, development? Well, I seen the uh, packaging show ever since the 20th century. And here we see things are really developing. We have the uh, uh, this Hall 7, we see Hall 6. Things are moving forward. I think this is a beautiful, wonderful show. It's a real pleasure for me to um, see it. Lots of things are developing. And I've seen the entire uh, show for uh, the um, report I'm going to be doing uh, tomorrow. You see it. And I uh, saw the entire show. Really, uh, Source of pleasure. I think it's a wonderful show and there are, uh, beautiful things to see. Okay, so, um, okay, let's be creative is the uh, key word for uh, the 2016 All for Pack. And at uh, 1230, we awarded the uh, awards to uh, nine winners. And Fabrice Peltier, you. Um, actually saw what the expert uh, committee was uh, doing. So I suggest that we look at what you did with the expert PAC committee. So you can watch and listen to. Here I am at Comics Exposium. I'm going to be in the uh, panel which um, uh, shortlists uh, entrance for the Alpha Pack Awards. You don't realize it, but in order to be uh, shown in the um, showcases, you have to go through an obstacle course. You'll see we have a really um, stern uh, jury or panel. Okay, I'm just going to uh, knock on the door. I'm late. Oh, you're, you're, you're on? Here, here, finally. We've already begun. No, sorry, no cameras. This is top secret. 
Three hours later. Okay, it's all right. Okay, we're going to uh, lunch. Uh, okay, we can ask a few questions. Tiziano, what happened this morning with um, uh, uh, innovation uh, in uh, packaging? Yeah, we saw lots of innovations. We see that um, manufacturers are um, really making an effort to improve things. Uh, I imagine that you had lots to eat and drink um, this morning. What we saw this morning shows the capacity for machine and packaging manufacturers to adjust to a swiftly changing market. Well, we've moved into 3.0 uh, or even 4.0. This is what consumers wanted, and uh, at the same time, we see that we have things which are going beyond what customers, uh, what consumers want. Now you're the you've joined us this year. Now you're a specialist in machines, aren't you? No, I'm a specialist in innovation, economics, and management. Now all of these boxes, even the pallet, are these products that um, were entered by exhibitors? How many are them? Well, about 248, 250 entrants. And how many of them did you uh, identify as uh, new developments? Well, 100 are going to be shown to the French and international journalists. Okay. So what's the purpose of uh, having uh, these things um, examined by journalists? But we have a new, uh, we have journalists uh, for the four key areas of the show and um, uh, they're going to choose the best uh, entrance, and they're going to be shown in a showcase at the uh, entrance. And we have a number of uh, experts who are going to be awarding Innovation Awards. So what do you say to these people? You say congratulations. They're going to be in their um, showcases, and these will be the uh, uh, innovations for um, packages of tomorrow. So today, this is four weeks later. Okay, this is the uh, um, show uh, case here. You begin with 250 entrants. We, they shortlisted 100 of them. The journalists narrowed it down to 42. And now there are only six, which the packaging experts will select uh, to get a pack award. And let me assure you, the experts are real experts, and they're really hard uh, to convince. Okay, I'm not supposed to be allowed here because this is top secret. But okay, I'm supposed to be uh, doing journalism. No, 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 sorry, you can't. No camera. Okay, so uh, they threw me out. And uh, I'm going to go in with my cell phone. It's a camera, candid, uh, uh, candid camera thing. Those I'm filming. So it says these are filmed. Uh, Okay, who is uh, uh, voting for online uh, printing? Okay, here's Arno Roland from Coca-Cola. Arno, hi, Fabrice. Okay, uh, what types of innovations do you have? Uh, he's in charge of uh, sustainable development for Coca-Cola. Okay, who won? I can't tell you, but wonderful things. Okay, Henry. Um, innovative morning, yes. It was very innovative, lots of in interesting products. Uh, could you tell me what products you saw? He's just laughing. Okay, he's just laughing. He doesn't want to say anything. They told him to keep his mouth closed, and he's keeping his mouth closed. Okay, her. Okay, she's in charge. She, I'll be able to ask Veronique. Veronique, I know you're not allowed to tell me anything, but what about the innovation this year? Well, you know I like you, but I won't tell you anything. No, we had a wonderful uh, choice, uh, and uh, we've only gone through half of it. And I, I won't tell you anything now or ever. So, Fabris, uh, we, we, we like uh, uh, you, but uh, um, I, it, and it's really in the interest of the exhibitor, the, uh, 
uh, innovations here? Well, first, you've got the showcase where they can show their um, uh, innovative uh, products, and then we have the PAC Awards. And 42 journalists examined their um, uh, innovations. We had experts who looked at uh, this, so lots of people um, uh, saw and uh, really uh, remembered what they uh, had to say. So um, this year it's um, too late to enter, but in two years' time, I suggest that you uh, submit an entry. This is really uh, something which will boost, boost innovation and uh, also uh, recognition of innovation. We're also focusing on our uh, visitors. We sent our, one of our reporters out to uh, interview visitors when they came in. Jeremy, did we have international um, uh, visitors? Hi there. That's uh, Jeremy, the journalist. So welcome everyone. Those are the only languages I understand. I'm Jeremy. I'm going to be your man in the field on the floor in Alpha Pack. So we're expecting a hundred thousand dollars here. We will have fifteen hundred exhibitors from the entire world and we're going to go see some of them. Hi, what's your name and where are you from? Yeah, I come from Morocco. I'm from Switzerland, Zurich. I'm from Italy, the center of Italy. What are you looking for here at the show? We've come to see uh, packaging suppliers, uh, new developments, especially for uh, materials. We're looking for manufacturers who ship their um, goods. Well, I'm with my uh, school group. We're um, studying international uh, trade, and I'm looking for uh, that type of information. I'm interested in material, uh, and we're coming to look at new things. Yes, we came to look at um, packaging to uh, manufa uh, manufacture fish uh, products in Africa. I'm looking for logistic systems for our production. So if you had to summarize Alpha Pack in a word, in a word, it's uh, impressive. It's huge, very professional machines. It's really well organized. This is the standard uh, benchmark in Europe, French speaking. I'll say it in English. It's uh, brilliant, it's absolutely brilliant. I'll say it in Italian. So as you see, they come from different places for different reasons. And we're going to have four days at the Alpha Pack uh, show. Those are students. So. Uh, <laughs> There's very interesting uh, views on uh, this uh, show. There are lots of wonderful uh, things to see. And when you look carefully, you'll see there are really some golden nuggets. And uh, you uh, leave with lots of uh, inspiration and new ideas, even when you might be uh, blasé and uh, know everything about packaging. No, look, I'm, a cre I'm creative. So um, uh, blasé creator. This is like a uh, musician who's lost his uh, instrument or uh, his um, uh, ear. So uh, tomorrow you're going to be discussing uh, innovation. Here. No, tomorrow I'll be discussing creativity. Now, um, here, the, you're talking about let's be creative. So we have it's being creative and not being creative. That's the uh, question, and you get the answer tomorrow. So we will be answering this tomorrow. That's the end of uh, our uh, broadcast uh, today. And uh, have an excellent uh, day. And we'll be back tomorrow for new adventures and new business opportunities. Good evening.